The Jitex Global 20 Thank You Vibe. Thank you, Chris. Thanks for the opportunity. Thank you. Uh, let's start with a brief about your participation this year and what sort of solutions you're focusing on. Jitex is always special and it's a very important event in the calendar of uh, Checkpoint. We feel this as a great platform for doing the networking with customers and partners. So obviously we're looking forward to this uh, opportunity to engage. Checkpoint has a lot to showcase and if you see uh, in the context of our journey in this market, we have multiple uh, dimensions on one strengthening our partnership with uh, uh, our partners, channel partners, so that they can take the messaging to the market. That's number one. Second, we are showcasing our complete portfolio of solutions and the latest innovations on that. So there, there are a lot of new products that we are kind of showcasing during this JITEX and also the innovation and the enhancements that we have done on the AI front. So. I think it's a culmination of technology, partnership, and then the conversation with customers. Because at Checkpoint, if you see, we have always been on the cutting edge of innovation. But then what is more important is that use that innovation, understand customer needs, and then this is where, uh, how do you say, innovation meets the reality. And uh, I think this is what we are looking forward in Jitex. Okay. Um, in terms of your investments in this region, how are you trying to strengthen support for your uh, local customers and channel partners? So, I would say there are three dimensions in which we can speak about our investment. One, if you see Checkpoint as a team, we have invested on a lot more of our own resources, both on the sales and the pre-sales side. So, the team has significantly grown. This helps us to take the entire product solution portfolio that we have to a lot more customers and partners. So, this is the direct investment from Checkpoint side. Second, on the platform, on the Infinity platform, which is our unified management for policy enforcement for visibility across physical network, cloud and endpoint. So we have, if you remember the last time we spoke, we had that investment in UAE, but I'm very happy to say that now it is also desk certified. So it means public and private sector customers in the region can adopt those solutions, even though it is cloud platform, SaaS platform but then it meets all the data regulations, data sovereignty requirements, so it is fully desk certified. So this is the second aspect that we are looking at. And the third is the investment that we are doing in terms of educating our channel ecosystem so that they understand the product portfolios, then they will be able to kind of have the customer conversation because at the end of the day, customers are looking at managed services and they're looking for partners who can offer those services. So it is important for us to kind of uh, enhance the skills of our channel ecosystem as well. Okay. And um, um, in what ways are you addressing uh, the evolving you know, cybersecurity challenges in the Middle East region? Cybersecurity challenges continues to evolve year over year. If you see the statistics, it's only growing and with AI, now it is on one side helping uh, kind of security uh, how, uh, architects to kind of understand how they can help to prevent those attacks. But the usage of AI from an attacker perspective is even more faster. They are able to come up with sophisticated uh, targeted attacks and uh, be it all industry, be it from hospitality, banking, healthcare, everyone, education, everyone is being targeted and they're seeing a higher number of cyber attacks on a weekly basis. So this is where I think Checkpoint unified platform because at the end of the day, what customers are looking for is to have a unified platform where they can enforce policies, have visibility across all of them. This is what Checkpoint Infinity platform helps them to achieve in one way. And at the same time, if you see, they are also looking at prevention first approach because today you detect and then time to remediate if it is longer, it is going to cost more and it takes a lot more effort. So this is where if you look at a prevention first approach where you can detect and then automate responses and remediate, it reduces a lot more time from a security, uh, how do you 
means respond to a security incident. So I think this is exactly where Checkpoint is helping customers and this is how we have been able to help them in the current security dynamic landscape. But this is one side of it. Let's say there is another dimension which is evolving, which is how to put AI into security operations so that you can remove all the manual tasks and then free up the security personals from doing some strategic things and then AI does more of the manual tasks which can be fully automated. So this is another dimension where we are helping customers so that it becomes much more easier for them. Okay. And how are you using AI uh, capabilities uh, to boost security um, you know, effectiveness today? AI Checkpoint has always been using it for many years. It, it, even though it's being talked about right now, if you see Checkpoint, we had deployed AI engines because if you understand the core of our intelligence is the threat cloud AI, which is kind of parsing billions of indicators every day and it is not manual. So there has always been in the back end we were using AI and then I think today we are deploying more than 50 plus engines on our threat cloud AI, which is back end which nobody sees. Now what we are doing is we are using AI for security and we are talking about security for AI. So if I have to just briefly say what uh, security for AI is all the automation and the orchestration with the help of our AI co-pilot with policy insights and many different uh, aspects we are able to kind of bring all the logs bring visibility automate responses so this is uh, kind of giving uh, enhancements to the operational team and reducing overhead so this is uh, security in AI now, the other aspect is that how do you secure AI models? Because today, everybody is talking about AI adoptions, especially enterprises with large language models, agentic AIs. How do you secure those AI platforms? So this is where Checkpoint is uh, announced uh, acquisition of Lakera, which is providing end-to-end -end, uh, AI security. And it kind of helps enterprise customers who are thinking about rolling out a agentic AI or building their own LLMs, how to embed security at that speed and scale. And uh, we are very excited about this acquisition that uh, is uh, uh, in transaction to conclude by okay. end of Q4. Okay. And, and moving forward, what are your priorities in terms of, uh, you know, expanding your footprint or, uh, um, you know, um, uh, engaging with your channel community as well? As I said before, our investment will continue and the investment will continue in all different directions. Uh, we have done our people investment. We will try to enhance their skills so that we become trusted advisors when we engage with customers and partners and we are able to take the messages to the market because today what Checkpoint offers with the unified platform which is prevention first, AI powered and we are even talking about hybrid mesh architecture which is the need of most of the customers we need to take this messaging to the market and it is going to be done by checkpoint evangelist and checkpoint team which is the investment we have done we definitely believe that the channel ecosystem has to be fully up to speed because they become the force multipliers for us so we are putting in a lot of effort to kind of enable them in terms of our product portfolio, in terms of how it can be embedded into customers' use cases and then how they can realize the value. So this partner ecosystem uh, plays a very important role. And this is where we are looking at some of the strategic partnerships, which we already have and enhancing them. We are looking at managed security uh, providers, MSSPs, where they can kind of provide it as a managed services to the customer. So these are all the areas where we are seeing and I think the next 12 months or next 18 months is going to be kind of interesting. And the last bit is the technology investment. Even though we have done the UAE uh, Infinity portal, we have the platform, we have desk certified, we are onboarding more and more services. And then customers can be absolutely confident that the data sovereignty meeting the local guidelines in terms of whatever stringent uh, regulations that they need to meet. All of this are taken care of in the background and they become more comfortable to adopt these solutions. I think this is where our in investment and focus is going to be for the next foreseeable future. Uh, thank you for speaking to us. Uh, nice having you with us today. Thank you, Chris. Thank, thank you, you again.